variant on Red Green Valakut that is running four, uh, sorry, two Avenger of Zendikar instead of uh, using Inferno Titan, which we've been seeing as the extra finisher. And on the other side, what do we have there? On the other side, we have Blue White Cobblade, and again, we see two Tumble Magnets. These Tumble right. Magnets are rising to the top of the field. Right, right. Um, his list is a little different than the uh, Nick Spagnola <clears throat> list that we've seen played by a few different people here today. It's pretty close, um, though. Yes. He uh, he has one Bane Slayer Angel. Right. And uh, he has 26 land. He uh, does not have access to a 27th land out of his sideboard for the Control Mirrors. And he is running he, uh, four Tectonic Edge main. Some people are only running three. He's got a full set. Oh, I think if you're blue-white, you play four. Right, right. Yeah. Um, he has four Spell Pierce, which is, you know, something that is kind of a throwback to the Pro Tour. Yeah. So, I mean, if we compare this to uh, the Spagnola list, I think the difference is minus one Bane Slayer, minus one Spell Pierce for... Um, Well, he's got an extra mana leak. He has a uh, deprive. He has a stoic rebuttal. He, he um, does not have deprive. Uh, oh, he's a stoic rebuttal. I'm sorry. In the board, you mean? No, no. Nick's list. Oh, Nick's list. Rebuttal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I misunderstood yeah. what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, this duck's uh, main duck looks like it's two cards off of what AJ was playing. Okay. We're going into a game three here between these two. So they're also both boarded. Um, in terms of uh, Christian's board opportunities, Christian can board in Summoning Trap, Nature's Claim, and Acidic Slime. Acidic Slime particularly useful with the Green Sun Zenith as a uh, means to take out sorts. Now something that's really interesting about uh, Christian's deck is that he's playing, he's playing the Battlements, and he's not playing Cobras. Yeah. Never to be found. <coughs> On the other side of the table, we can see flat. <coughs> excuse me. Two flash freezes. Um, probably one Sun Titan to pair up with the uh, tectonic edges. Do you bring in sort of body and mind? I, I don't know that you do. Um, I think you do. You do? Yeah, I think uh, it's definitely better than your lifestyle. Better than and um, makes the second mystic have use. Yeah, you you want your mystics to have more value, and just the pro green on a sword is like very good. <coughs> the the wolves do make your clock faster, and uh, Valkyrie is a deck that can just draw off the top and kill you. So he's got two volition reigns. Uh, I like Fuller Shrines. Uh, I think just in general, like an Annex effect is really good against Valakut. We're starting out. We've got a Stoneforge Mystic up against, is that uh, just Explore into an Extra Land? It is. Okay. The, uh, pass the turn. This is uh, such such a dangerous place to be in against Cobblade when they pass the turn with two mana up, ready to drop their sword into play with their Mystic, or ready to Mana League your spell. Playing three mana, he's probably going to Cultivate. That's uh, what comes down. Search his library for a Mountain, which will probably go into his hand, and a Forest, which will probably go into play. Or two Forests. And Ricky earlier just looked so calm and ready. You know, He knows he doesn't have to stop that Cultivate, which means that there's going to be a Sword in play on his Mystic attacking. Uh, Christian uh, playing very well here. He uh, he decided he wanted to play around a tech edge, which yeah. is something that he knows is going to be a huge part of Ricky's game against him. He knew he needed the double green. The uh, sort of feast and famine comes down for Ricky, and Ricky gets to uh, he gets to attack here with a sword hit, which is pretty good. Um, let's see if he has any direction. Uh, opportunity for Nature's Claim, and it's not there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see Nature's Claim in the main. No, this is game three. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Christian's list looks very interesting. It's uh, it's kind of a throwback to the uh, list we saw the very first weekend that Besiege came out. Absolutely. And he discards a green sun zenith. 
Lays the land, sixth land. And, uh, I think he's going for the Titan. Let's see if a flash freeze hits That's this a or a mana leak. Oh boy, and it resolves. No. That's pretty that's pretty just rough <coughs> for uh, Rick. Now the thing that's really interesting about the way that Sword of Feast and Famine works, you can't even bother to wait to play around a mana leak. A lot of times with some opponents, you can just kinda wait a few turns because they're not doing anything that's scary. The Sword of Feast and Famine just takes away that option entirely. It's it's really interesting just how strong cards like Primeval Titan really are. Like it, it it was irrelevant what Ricky was doing, even though his spells were so powerful and everything. The fact that he could not interact with this one large card just made it Im almost impossible for him to win. So down comes a Jace. Jace activates for Brainstorm. I think he wants an oust here if he if he boarded one in. Uh, he, he definitely boards in the ass. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think he, sh I think he yeah. should board in the ass, but, you know, he might not have. He should, but. Yeah. And there it is. Yes. Yeah. That's what I like yeah. to see. And then in comes yeah. the Feast and Famines. Chopping away at the hand and resetting all that mana. Yeah, and, uh. Well, Christian can't really be happy with the uh, turn of events that have happened What do we here. got there? I th lots of glare on uh, something. Um, a foil, is that? Is that why it's so glary? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really tell what it I is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh... It, uh, Christian has another primeval titan, so you know Ricky's not out of the woods yet. <laughs> I think that may just be a core firewalker. Oh, is it just a core firewalker? Alternate art core firewalker, perhaps? Yep, I think I see the uh, DCI logo there in the glare. Now, uh... Here comes the... Oh, huh, that's interesting. He, uh... Okay. He chose to get a fifth mountain instead of getting a third Valakut. Is that a sixth mountain? No, if the, uh, if it was the sixth mountain, he would be dealing damage right now. Well, right. That's why I, I wondered why he didn't get two mountains or two Valakuts, one or the other. Is that a Raging Ravine underneath that Valakut? It is. There we go. Ravine. Okay, it is a Core Firewalker. And down Static. comes a Mountain to activate the two Valakuts in play. Yeah, so he can either kill that Mystic, or he can uh, kill the Jace and the Firewalker. I would, I would, at this point, just kill the Jace and the Firewalker. Yeah. Three to you, redirect it. Oh, you didn't go for the Firewalker. Yep, and just three to you, three to you, three to you. At this point, I mean, the uh, core Firewalker isn't probably going to gain three life, right? That's true. So it's gaining him two life, though, as a potential blocker. I mean, if he's not planning on casting another red spell, that's right. If he casts two red spells, then that's wrong. He also just has to worry about like the racing implications of a core firewalker. Like the clock is different from a Absolutely. core firewalker to uh, it's five turns versus four turns on the stone forge. Oh, and he has the colonnade, so yeah. In this case, he, it's uh, actually uh, so two turns either way. Yeah, two turns either way. So I believe his play was correct. Um, let's untap all of his lands, and uh, I believe that's a, is that an oust in his hand. Oh, yes. how monstrous! <laughs> yeah, and, and he's got uh, an Avenger of Zendikar in his hand, and nothing else, I don't think. Yeah, and I mean that's not good enough. Yeah, I mean Avenger. 
We don't know what that top card is. What I is believe that? it's a lightning bolt. Could so. well be. Here comes the Avenger. Oh, another no. Titan. Wow. No. I thought oh, that was an is Avenger. That resolve? Oh, Doctor. I ain't supposed to even start at the uh, Avenger. Oh. Uh. So he can do 12 damage here. Yeah, I mean, this is. This is. Is he still dead? Or. He's, he's in a position where. Um, well, he has the bolt. And then he can. So he can block Firewalker. No, he's still dead. Depends where he's doing the damage. I don't think that he's declared it yet. So you can send all of it at Mystic. And then, uh... He's got 12 damage. I mean, he can split it up pretty crazily. Yeah, he sends six at the Mystic, and then six at Ricky. Or even six, three, three. That might be the correct amount. Yeah, it just goes straight to the dome. Um... Oh, Christian's at 13? I thought Christian was at 14 before the last attack. And there appears to have been a life total correction. Oh, so... So we were working with some slight different information than we Yeah, should. that changes everything. Levi, I got you. Poor Firewalker gets equipped with the sword. Sentence upon it. Coming in for four, knocking him down to nine if it works. Bolt the Mystic. Yeah, and uh, now these are looking pretty rough. Day of Judgment. There we go. So a mountain wins. Anything that finds a mountain wins. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see, what is it? Come on, Christian, show us. I don't think it's... I don't think it's what it needs to be. So, uh, there's the Raging Ravine from before. And the Raging Ravine's lethal. There we go. Yep. Zing. Christian Keith defeats Ricky Zhao 2 to 0. Uh, two, to, 2 to 1. 2 to 1. Two to one. Yeah. And, uh, 